good morning vlog welcome to a weekend in my life i look super crazy right now like super duper duper crazy with the flat baseball cap okay but anyway i look like this because i'm about to go to the gym we're gonna get this friday started off right it is about o'clock on Friday morning I have been up since like 7 um, I woke up did some work I had to fix a video um, and then I ate breakfast with my dad and um, talked to my mom because my mom's on a trip she comes back today though super excited to see her um, so I did all of that fun fun stuff and now it is like I said about 10 and I'm about to head to the gym with jazzy we're gonna go get a quick workout in and then get this weekend started this weekend there's a lot of stuff going on um i have a graduation party pretty much every day this weekend but i'm about to go get this workout in with jazzy real quick and then i will talk to you guys later hopefully i don't look like a little boy anymore let's pray jazzy where are we going where are we going? Where are we going? To the gym! So on our way to lunch. You excited? Mommy's coming home, Daddy? Absolutely. <laughs> he got to say that because he's on film. No, I am. I'm very excited. It's going to be a good week. We both got salads, salmon to split, and then we're gonna share some shrimp. And Jazzy's already eating. <laughs> it just got here. <laughs> that workout actually killed us, though. Not even gonna lie. Yummy, 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 yummy. Six, six, fifty-nine. So we're back in the car. We need to make a stop home. We picked up my brother. Then uh, we went home so he could get his car, the, the car and stuff. And then we stayed home for a little bit. And now we're going to Castle Island because it's like really, really nice outside. And Castle Island's like, I don't know, how would you explain Castle Island? It's in South Boston. Yeah, it's in. There's an old castle there from 1700s or something. Yeah, it's in South Boston. Like you said, there's like an old little castle. And it's like, like Boston's on the water, obviously. So it's like, just like more kind of near on the coast. Harbor. Yeah, it's near the harbor. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's just kind of like, it's nice and you can see the water. And it's just a nice little hangout spot. So we're just gonna go down there and wait for my mom's flight to um, get in. We just decided, like I said, to leave a little bit earlier because it's the holiday weekend. Um, so everybody's like, a lot of people are heading out of the city or some people are coming into the city. So it's like traffic and stuff is gonna be absurd um, trying to get to the airport. So we just decided to leave a little bit earlier and um, just hang out and enjoy the weather. So that's what we're doing. And we didn't, we left Mookie at home because I don't know, he's going to do something. So just me and Jazzy, per usual. And, then, uh, and I had to put my hair up. I had to put my hair up because you can't even see it because it's blended in with the top of the car. But I had to put my hair up because it's hot and my hair was about to green with this heat. Like, it just was not having it since this. Today's not the day. So I have to put it in the bun. And y'all, this is my first bun without Eco Styler. Like, I'm hurt. Eco Styler's that gel I was telling you. They still had all those chemicals oh, in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so serious question. So are we just going, are we boycotting Eco Styler? Or are we, just, are we trying to get them to change their products? Because I vote for the latter. <laughs> Cause I don't think I completely, I don't think I can completely give it up. But I will boycott it until they make a change. Let's put it that way. So can we work on them taking the bad products out of the product? Because I don't think I can completely give it up. But while we we don't have to throw the whole thing away, let's just 
improve. <laughs> That's my favorite gel. Like, he knew when I told him, he said the big green one? Because I used the olive oil. The olive oil. <laughs> just driving through UMass Boston um the University of Massachusetts as well at Boston my dad's showing me some of like the new things that they built because he was working on um this project which was really really cool like back when I was in high school they've been working on this for a really really long time um and I used to come over here with him so he's just kind of showing me some of the new stuff that they built what's this the science building yeah, integrated science complex integrated science complex that's the new parking garage, he said. This is fancy. Looks nice. Cool. This is the harbor right there, part of the harbor. Looks good. These are the older buildings. These have been here. They didn't just build these. That's the saltwater pump house. This is a really nice school though. It's more of like a commuter, so they're, they're building. Residential. Yeah, so they're starting to build dorms and stuff um, so that they can kind of transition over to being less of a commuter school. But it's a really, really pretty campus. It's like all on the water. It's not a peninsula, actually. It's a peninsula. Where my mom loves to not answer her phone. But let one of us not answer her call. And it's World War. Good morning, y'all. It is early Saturday morning. Very, very early Saturday morning. And me and my mom are on our way to get our nails done. We did an early appointment because I have to tutor this morning and it's just gonna be crazy in there because it's Memorial Day weekend and you know everybody shouldn't get their nails and stuff done before they go away or they have to do what they have to do so we are headed to the nail salon very very early like I said and So did mommy. Orange, you glad we got our nails done? <laughs> we got different orange stuff. And I'm just about to get ready for some of the grad parties that I have to go to them and get ready for the day. I, my family always makes the joke that I'm the one who takes longest, but lately I've been ready first. So I'm trying to keep my streak. So I'm getting ready and my mom is still cooking some things that she's bringing to the party with us. And the boys are somewhere downstairs. But yeah, I just got out of the shower. Um, I have my hair in my little dookie braids under here. So yep, yeah, this is Bareface Natural Brie in her natural habitat. <laughs> I just finished my makeup. I only use concealer, no powder, and then I did some contour and some highlight. That's pretty much my like go to summer look. I'm probably gonna do a video on it. I'm really not a huge foundation person, um, so I wear concealer the majority of the time, but especially in the summer, I don't do any powder, just spray and stuff. I'm not really an oily person or like a dry person. I kind of have normal skin, so I don't really, if I don't put on powder, my skin is fine. Um, so yeah, I'm about to take my hair out and put my clothes on. Hey, hey, y'all. So I decided to put my hair up because it is pretty steamy and I knew that I was probably going to end up putting it up anyway. So I was like, let me just put it up now while I'm home and I have a mirror and I can just... And I think it looks nice with this um, thing since, you know, my... Oh, well, this area is out. So sometimes it's nice to have your hair up when you wear stuff like that. Yeah. 
So I just finished getting dressed. I got my hair up again because the weather is so bad and it's humid. And I was like, okay, if I wear my braid out, it's going to be a mess before I even get where I'm going. And then I have one of these little glasses from Zara. I'm not usually like a glasses accessory person, but my jacket has tons of gold in it. So I thought it was kind of cute. Let me show you guys what I got on. I have on these little jeans. Some just regular distress jeans. Sorry, the lighting's so bad. These are from Nordstrom's. And then I have on this little military jacket with all this embroidery and detail. We're about to go to my grandma's and then I'm going to go to my friend's house. Mm -hmm. 